Hi, I'm HC. For weekly videos on self-knowledge and self-discovery, like this video and hit the subscribe button. Here are five steps on how to achieve a goal. Step one, self-analysis. In this context, to self-analyze is to question the authenticity of an objective that you are trying to reach. It is to ask yourself, why am I trying to achieve this? What do I think achieving this will change? How much does this goal actually mean to me? What are the things that I am willing to sacrifice to achieve this goal? A proper self-analysis is primordial because when motivation depletes and no one is in your corner rooting for you, it is you that must continue on in order to succeed. A proper self-analysis will help you understand why you are being led in a direction and help you to commit to a goal if need be. A self-analysis is necessary because oftentimes we are being influenced by external pressures such as culture, friendships, social norms, and even envy to be and to do things that don't necessarily align with our path. Look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, who or what is leading me and why? Ask yourself, what are the root principles and habits leading my actions? Who or what is truly benefiting from having me believe in this goal? Do I really want to achieve this goal? Am I really doing it for myself? Most entities trying to influence you have a clear angle, which you can't see oftentimes because of your emotions already being tied to the objective that they are selling you. There is a time for everything, including a time to be a follower. But as chanted by Sri Lankan musician M.I.A., you can be a follower, but who is your leader? Step 2. Change your mind. In this context, to change your mind means to open your mind to new possibilities and different courses of action. It is important to accept that if everything you knew brought you to where you are now, you will have to apply new information to exist in a reality without precedent. Simply put, it is to always remember that in order to get different out of life, you must do different in life. Think of this like a math equation. If you keep applying the same formula, you are bound to get the same results. However, by changing the formula, you are able to examine new scenarios within your life path. To change your mind is to appreciate your past, but to open your mind to the possibilities of the future. It, therefore, is understanding that if you do not do different, then in six months, one, five, or ten years from now, you will likely be right where you are. Since everything you thought of and did not think of to this day brought you to where you are in this moment, to change your reality, you must first change your thoughts. Your thoughts become your actions, and your actions shape your reality. Step 3. Don't rush. To not rush is to appreciate that the universe is not in a hurry. You are. And that is the reason that you are stressed, tired, weary, and possibly obsessing over the results. On the journey to achieving your goals, once you are aligned with your true self, what is for you cannot pass you, and what passes you was not for you, at least not in that moment. Your life path is your own, and therefore your success or lack of successes thereof should not be critiqued according to anyone else's path. It is important to understand that rushing is likely to leave you at the tail end of two possible results. One, that you forget something on the way. Think of this like rushing out of your house and trying to remember a number of things that you were supposed to bring with you or not forget on the way out. In this case, you will likely forget something or not complete your tasks in an efficient manner. And second, 
Rushing takes away from your ability to appreciate the gifts in your present that are there for you to learn from on your journey forward. Think of this like rushing through a video game. Because you did not take the time to explore the game map, although you might reach the end in record time, you are likely to lack the skill and the level experience needed to complete the game. To not rush does not mean to not be time effective. However, it does mean to appreciate that you are only in a race with yourself. This is your life. Imagine living in a cave all of your life and for the first time you are deciding to emerge from the ground to see the sunlight for the very first time. If you rush the experience, you may blind yourself because of how bright the sun is. Yes, you will see the light, but at what expense? You will likely not know how to appreciate it. On the other hand, by easing yourself into this transition, taking in the sunlight little by little, after all, you've been in the darkness for so long, you will eventually be able to appreciate and enjoy and understand your new reality. Always remember, what is for you is not running away from you. It is yours to acquire, but success is an adaptation process. Step four, conquer your fear of conflict. Always remember, you are a part of an ecosystem, which may include your culture, your family, your friends, and your common acquaintances. Therefore, success for you also means change for them. It's all connected. And change often brings conflict and misunderstanding. And it is common to be frightened of the change that truly following your path will bring. However, it is important to accept that if you never go, you can never be. And it is you that will have to then live with that sorrow or that regret of an action. In this context, to conquer your fear of conflict, is to appreciate that change is a natural part of life. So much so that the only things in this world that do not change are things that are dead. A caterpillar may have things that it loves to do as a caterpillar, but in order to become a butterfly, he must go into his cocoon and allow for the change. Imagine a caterpillar saying, nope, I'm staying a caterpillar for life because it's all I know and it's all I ever knew. And I don't know how everyone else will react to me transforming. Doesn't sound like it makes any sense at all, does it? Abandon your fears. Your life is on the other side of your concerns. Step five, go. There is no right time. There is no perfect moment. You always grow, and the things you think you can't survive, you somehow always make it through. And that is life. You are the perfect person for your journey, and your time is now. On the journey to becoming your best you, although we are very willing to succeed, we often do not know what to do to become a success. Knowing how to achieve a goal will help you appreciate that you can apply yourself to any task and become the success that you seek. Your journey begins with you. This is why knowing how to achieve a goal is such an important factor on the journey of you becoming your best you. Thank you for watching this video until the end. You are appreciated. Like and share this video to a friend and Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you here next time on Howell Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.